super super unorthodox, but for us, how we are as creatives, I think it worked super super well. Cease to Exist, a brand made by young Montreal creatives, takes homage to 2000s hip hop and the city's African American culture. Three years running, the brand has recently been gathering hype in the Montreal fashion scene. It's a heavy emphasis on excessive layering and oversized silhouetting. We just grab from anything, anything that we talk about and discuss, either new or old, we grab from. So like if it's a video game, we'll show each other and talk about it and just grab different parts of it that we really, really enjoy. Like our childhood, our heritage, et cetera, et cetera. We obviously take a very strong liking towards being African-American because that's who we are. When I was younger and as well as Paris, we were both a little bit overweight. So we kind of struggled finding clothes that we felt good in, but also like look good in. And so we always kind of leaned more towards you know the looser fitting clothes the baggier fitting clothes and that's kind of like where a lot of our style inspirations come from a lot of from 2000 silhouettes 90s hip hop silhouette they have all these billion dollar clothing companies but they don't have any style this is a new era baby Fubu, next level Fubu. growing up paris says his mother bought most of his clothes from the black owned american brand fubu it was for us by so it essentially meant for black people made by black people as well because we weren't represented in the industry too often. And when someone pointed out what the meaning behind FUBU was, it really just blew my mind as a kid. I was like nine years old. And like, I just like realized you could add concept and meaning towards clothing. So I was just absolutely dedicated to it afterwards. And then from 16 onwards, I just picked up a sewing machine learned design by myself. Paris learned how to sew and design from YouTube videos and even undertook a mentorship at 16, the same age when he began conceptualizing Cease to Exist. By the summer of 2020, he and Cozier Weismuller launched a brand with pieces now being sold at pop-up shops and local boutiques. And on February 18 of this year, they presented their first runway show at the Montreal Biodome. In reality, Paris and I are, we're just, you know, two young creatives from Montreal, like that we don't have a name for ourselves at all. So the fact that we were able to sell out uh, a 350 ticket show, our first ever show at the Montreal Biodome for a fashion show in Montreal is an absolutely amazing experience. In Montreal, Diona Makalinga, City News.